You are a hero, my friend. Do you know that? You are a hero. And many people want to take this from you. This awareness, knowing you are a hero of your story. Many people want to keep things from you, so you would not remember that you are a hero of your story. That you are bright, that you are wise, that you are strong. Know that everything always works in your favor. The name of this video is How they are trying to keep you poor. You see, more we are projected with different information, different things, more we feel empty. More food we eat, more we feel empty. Empty of energy, of drive, right? So, they try to keep you poor, so you would not notice your wholeness. From the other side, once you find your wholeness, once you get back into yourself, call your energy back into yourself, you notice that you're complete when you're present with yourself, when you're stable in yourself. That's the realest abundance, wholeness, feeling whole in your body. Once you feel whole in your body, you don't th see challenges in your life as something to escape from, something to run away from, something to, to see as a problem. If wholeness is an abundance, life will say to you, hey, let's, let's try it out what you're capable of. <laughs> let's try it out because that's the only way you can really realize yourself. Notice what you can do. That's why firstly you need to go through, you know, poverty often and breakups and heartbreaks and so on. So you can start from scratch. When you start from scratch, you create a new rhythm, right? And rhythm is emotion. It's the beginning of a new story where you recognize that you're writing it. So the script is empty until you write it. So you write down, I am this and I am that. And I am is your real name. Everything that pulls you away from I am is trying to keep you poor because it is distracting you from the real abundance that is knowing who you are and getting back into wholeness of yourself noticing that there is no lack when you acknowledge where everything is coming from and noticing that you've never been separated from it and understanding that if never if you've never been separated from it, then you're already in everything that is possible. A part of you lives in all possible potentials. The reality of everything being present. And a part of you is experiencing the reflection of my, what's most familiar to you. And what's most familiar to you may be a program from society that um, is quite outdated and more you become aware that it's just a program everything you think it may be a program all your beliefs may be programs all your reactions responds you know how you're responding to life maybe programs that's what keeps you broke, keeps you in poverty, not just financial, but poverty of emotions, poverty of bliss, poverty of awareness and richness of thoughts, rich thoughts.
and more you feel empty, more you're seeking certain external escapes from emptiness that only bring more of emptiness. But as you get back to the source, to you, you notice it's not about seeking anything, it's not about following anything, it's not about doing anything truly for others. It's about feeling whole once again. And more you feel whole, more you want to expand it onto others. Because it's the nature of anything. You can find this reflection in nature. You see, nature by itself will just expand. Because it's so whole that it just wants to expand itself. That's what light is doing. Light is constantly expanding from the source. That's why you can be alive today, because sun is constantly expanding and sharing its light. But so are you. You're constantly sharing your light. The problem is that you're not being aware of that. You're not noticing the value of that, because you've been hypnotized and programmed to think a certain way about yourself. That's why you feel you're not enough. You feel you haven't done enough. You feel you're not good enough. And you feel you may be broken. There's something wrong with you. You may feel all kinds of things just because you're not really in yourself. You're in someone else. In a theory of someone else about you. And that theory truly is an illusion because it's not you. So may this be a calling back into you. Call your energy back into yourself. Like, how does it feel? When you get all these strains of energy attached to different events and different things and different ideas, you draw them back to you. And for a moment, just get into this wholeness of yourself and notice this is the real abundance it's you imagine what would happen if everything you do you would do it out of this state of being whole imagine how heroic your actions would be how would you walk how would you talk how would you feel in different events, if you would be in this wholeness. It's a practice. It becomes a skill like anything else, like you've learned to drive a car or to walk or to cook or to dance or whatever skill you have. Being in wholeness is another skill. It's a higher skill because it helps you to feel more complete and therefore you don't do things to prove somebody something you don't do something to escape from yourself you don't do things to get validation or whatever you start doing more of what this wholeness wants to do the world is lacking so much of this state therefore so many people are just doing all kinds of different things to be accepted and to be seen and to be heard and to feel enough. And nothing helps. You can try to improve yourself, but if you don't feel whole within you, you will never be improved enough. You may try to make whatever money or anything. And if you don't do it out of wholeness, it will never be enough. You will always find something greater to achieve which is obviously nothing wrong with any of that but it's the reason why you're doing it is this because you want to share your light your wholeness with others or it's because you don't feel enough because you find a, a great difference in the reason why you're doing it 
And the biggest difference is those who do it because they want to spread their light unto others, they do it with purpose. Those who do it because they are not good enough, they do it because they are chasing something. They are chasing pleasure, they are escaping something. So it's a question, do you have a purpose? Do you feel purposeful? To everyone who is pulling you out of purpose is trying to keep you poor. It's all you need to remember. Anything that is pulling you away from your purpose is trying to keep you poor. If information is not helping you to be more in purpose, it's trying to keep you poor. If people around you are not helping you to be in purpose, they are trying to keep you poor. You don't need to cut all of that out of your life. You just need to be aware how much is enough so we can set clear boundaries. What you tolerate in your life. To have an awareness like if you tolerate too much of what's not healthy for you, maybe you will become unhealthy. And make it clear. If you would really be whole right now, and you are, as soon as you remember that you are, as soon as you pull this energy back into this moment, what would you do differently in your life? How would you do it? You know, every time we come back into ourselves in this moment, we remember that we are valuable part of the society that we hold within unique keys that can unlock many sacred doors like no one else has a key that you have your soul your talents no one else has what you have and Everything leads us into this moment, to realization of authenticity, of uniqueness that can only be unlocked within you, with awareness of being present. And knowing that there is a higher awareness present within you, that is helping you to align events in your life so you would really realize why you've come here at this unique moment. And therefore, when things doesn't make sense, you can just remind yourself that it's this higher awareness that is taking care of events in your life. Making sure that everything will click at the right time and things will come together at the right time. Your only job is to work out of this wholeness. To be more present in your body. And to notice its incredible unique value that you have in this chain of society. It's not really a chain, it's more like a web, but you are a very important link in it, or a dot in it. Like this web becomes complete because of your presence in it. But you see, most people are not really present in it. They're somewhere else with their minds. And they're trying different ways to get into it, but there is no external ways. It's really just calling yourself back into yourself and noticing it's all there is. 
Because when you become really present, you start to sense something you want to do. You start to feel something you always wanted to do. You start to also see why you haven't done it. What distracted you, what pulled you away, and then you can decide will you cut these things from your life or will you just become a bit more present or organized, maybe disciplined. Maybe will you lock your focus in on certain things that matter. And every time you will catch yourself doing something out of distraction as an old habit, you will ask yourself, is this serving my purpose? Is this serving what I wanted to do? And if the answer is no, congratulations, you've just become more conscious. And that's how you start catching yourself every time something takes a part of you away from yourself and you start to feel empty so there's many things that want to distract you many things that are dimming your light and all you need to know is are you in your purpose Doesn't matter what it is, doesn't matter how clear you are about this, maybe you're still figuring things out. Well, more frequently you call all of yourself back to yourself. More this idea will become clear to you, like what you truly want to do with your life. Because you know, as they say, the purpose of life is a life of purpose. It's really doesn't matter what it is. What matters is that you do things with a sense of purpose. Even if you go for a walk, you go there with a purpose. You go there because you have a reason for that. This is purpose. It's not just because you have a responsibility, it's because you want to do it. This is purpose. Because you want to do it. Knowing what you truly want is a great richness. Because if you go on social media, you will easily get impulses to think about what you want. Different people will tell you what you want. And it's easily to get lost in this wants of others. Oh, I want this, I want that. But the magic is really keeping clarity around what you truly want, what comes from you, what comes from your soul. This is how you stay rich in life. When you stay true to yourself, you will only do more of what brings richness into your life. When your light is strong, same is your magnetic force. So when you do what is right for you, you will magnetize towards yourself what is right for yourself. So don't get distracted by sensations. It doesn't, it didn't happen yet. People are treating me wrongly. No, it's an old behavior. You're just going back to your old self, not feeling whole, not feeling enough. So you're looking for others to appreciate you and you're looking for things to remind you that you're abundant and you're looking for experiences to remind you that you can be happy. No, it's an old way. You see, when you're whole, you don't look for these things. You're complete. And when you're complete, you don't look for anything to happen. You just feel inspired to do more of what is right for you. So may a sense of completion become your goal and become really passionate about feeling it. 
about being in it until it becomes your nature, because it is your nature. As soon as you remind yourself of this state, you get back into this state. So be reminded of that, my friend. <laughs> I will leave you here, my friends. I hope you found a great value in today's video. I'm sending you lots of love, blessings and power. Hey, my friends, I hope you've enjoyed in today's video. I want to remind you that we've just opened a fresh new store called attractpassion.com where you can find all of my work, original paintings, you can find prints of all of my art in different sizes. So go there and check it out, attractpassion.com. If you will use the code PASSION15, PASSION15, you will get 15 off onto your first order. So go there and check it out. And to anyone who would love to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I'm offering one-on-one -on -one coaching. We have some free spots once again. You can go and check out the link in the description of this video where you can find everything there. So go and check it out. If you would like to do something with the inspiration that you feel right now, it will help you so much to transform your life. I want you to do something with it. If you feel inspired, you have to do something with it. So my friends, till next time, one love.